Well, it's another great day in South Bend. Uh, of course, from my perspective, every day is a great day in South Bend, but I'm, I'm delighted to be able to take you on this tour of our community. Uh, a lot of things that we want to highlight today as we drive around the city, uh, the University of Notre Dame, Innovation Park, Ignition Park, uh, downtown, uh, lots of activity going on here, a lot of good energy as people are optimistic about things that are moving forward in the city of South Bend. South Bend is the next big thing in technology. We do speak tech here. We, we know uh, creativity and innovation. We know how to make things. Uh, we know how to invent things and take them from the idea stage to uh, production and to real products that earn capital in, in the open market. The first building coming up at Innovation Park. And Innovation Park is part of our two-site technology park, the only two-site technology park in the state of Indiana. Uh, we have a smaller campus here just south of the university where a lot of the initial research goes on and then they move forward to a place where an idea really has an opportunity for commercialization. Uh, that's the step across the street then to Innovation Park and an opportunity for uh, for grad students and professors to refine those ideas, to work with uh, private sector partners, to bring in angel investors, uh, all of those components that are so critical, uh, really locating right here in South Bend. The elevator core is going up for the first hotel. The parking structure the city actually constructed as part of the development here. It was our uh, commitment to enhance this and, and help it to move forward with the private developer. Just beyond it, the IU School of Medicine, a new wing coming on that is partly funded by a donor to the university as well as state dollars and that will be a site for cancer research and really tie into Innovation Park. So as we come back down to Notre Dame Avenue, we'll turn on to campus and head toward the famous Golden Dome that is such the trademark for the University of Notre Dame. What has really been exciting for me over the last number of years is the university's strong commitment to research and development here. A new Stimson Remick Hall for engineering with a huge clean room in it that is a great development and a great investment on the part of the university. And that was really one of the key components in Notre Dame being named the Midwest Institute for Nanoelectronics Discovery. Uh, this is the fourth nano institute in the country and the final nano institute. It's supported by all the large chip makers who are looking now to discover the successor to the CMOS, the uh, silicon chip that powers all of our computers and electronics. And uh, great research going on on campus, uh, things about electron tunneling and uh, a lot of other things that's beyond my pay grade in terms of understanding, but people really think that uh, some of the first breakthroughs in terms of developing that next logic switch may happen here. Uh, the university is the lead university for a consortium of seven universities in the Midwest that are investigating this. But in addition to the MIND Institute, uh, a number of other areas of specialty for research that are happening at Notre Dame that provide great opportunities, whether it's in orphan drugs and um, uh, biomedicine to uh, flow physics that uh, may help to make cars and, and windmills and propellers uh, much more efficient. All of the research on campus uh, we know that that's the critical first step. It provides the spark and the ingenuity, the creativity, uh, the beginning. But there's a critical next step too, and that's the commercialization of products. And the city wants to be a full partner in that. And we have committed to invest $50 million to assist in commercialization of these new ideas here at the University of Notre Dame. So. Uh, we're, we're delighted to be able to be part of that and really the key location for that will be at Ignition Park where uh, the city will be working to whether invest in uh, specialized equipment or perhaps uh, looking at the possibility of uh, additional clean room space that can be rented out uh, but ways that we can be supportive of private sector initiatives to create new products that will be constructed and built here in the city of South Bend. So with, with the city's commitment to commercialization, we think that that sets us apart from other communities, that we are a full partner with the university, with the private sector in developing uh, new products and, and taking new ideas to market. And that really makes us business friendly and tech friendly. Uh, 
Uh, we will provide a number of incentives through tax abatements, through use of our tax increment financing to help with uh, the necessary infrastructure. We can get permits through in a record time. We really see that uh, there's an opportunity for the city to be a player here. We know how to, to make projects uh, move forward and, and get to completion. Coming up on Eddy Street Commons now, which is a great development that is the result of a lot of planning between neighbors, the university, uh, institutions in the area, uh, we really wanted to have a center where the community and the university could come together. And so uh, I, I'm so excited about this, about a $220 million development with 80,000 square foot of retail, 80,000 square feet of office space. Ultimately, there'll be 400 residential units here from uh, loft apartments to new condominiums to townhomes to city homes, and it really is changing the face of uh, the city of South Bend. It's a great place where community and university come together. We're just down the street from Innovation Park, and we think that there'll be a lot of energy here as researchers are here having a cup of coffee and uh, meeting with neighborhood people. Uh, that whole mixture of different ideas and different backgrounds that really stimulates our imagination and has really been kind of the trademark of South Bend. As we come into downtown in our, our East Bank neighborhood, which is a arts and technology area for the city of South Bend, uh, it reminds me that people always say what's important is location, location, location. And that's true not only at the local level, but also at the national level. Uh, South Bend is uniquely located. Uh, we're 90 minutes from Chicago, we're on 8090, great transportation corridor. We're, we're within 41 million people overnight from the city of South Bend, but more importantly, uh, we are able to contact people instantly uh, with our Metronet, a loop of dark fiber in the city of South Bend that creates great broadband capacity uh, for business, for research, uh, to move forward. One of the great things about uh, South Bend's neighborhoods is so many of them relate to the river. Uh, St. Joe River just over here, We've got a wonderful river walk that goes along it that people really take great advantage of. This is one of our older historic neighborhoods, the Chapin Park neighborhood, and uh, one of the first suburbs, if you will, of South Bend. Um, great old Victorian homes here, a nice variety of architecture, uh, the brick streets that uh, are a little bumpy and uh, a little noisy, but uh, really gives some great charm to these, to these neighborhoods. Uh, it's just been so great to see uh, the people coming back to the city, loving the older neighborhoods, being close to downtown. Uh, there's a real sense of livability here. Uh, the pace of life is relaxed, uh, although there's an energy about uh, all of the things going on in town. So it's, it's that great mix of, of both here in the city of South Bend. Many of our neighborhoods are so close to parks, uh, great quality of life and, and amenities. I mentioned the river walks, uh, tennis center here at Leeper Park, our duck pond, great fly fishing. A lot of people come here to fly fish in the St. Joe River. And of course, downtown, we have our East Race Waterway that you can do kayaking and uh, rubber rafting on the, uh, the artificial whitewater rapids there. One of the things that I'm really excited about is the new exhibit of uh, George Rickey sculptures in downtown. And it, uh, kinetic sculpture that really, I think, speaks to innovation, the marriage of creativity and engineering, the ability to create things. Uh, they are terrific sculptures that are so exciting, uh, moving in the wind, uh, always changing shape and form. Uh, I think they're a great symbol for what we're about in the city of South Bend right now. Throughout South Bend's history, ideas are always changing tomorrow. That's happening now and will happen to an even greater extent as we move forward with Innovation Park and Ignition Park. And South Bend is booming.